Hi guys, I'm Nat. I'm a yarn maker, indie dyer, and the owner of Fiber Dog Fibers. And today I'm gonna show you my spindle collection. I've been asked about my spinning tools quite a few times now, and I figured I might just as well make a little video about it and share it with all of you. So here it is, my spindle collection, and I will link the makers of them down below. Some of them are in Germany and some I don't remember, but the ones I do remember, I will link below so you can check them out. Let's start with these two beauties. These are supported spindles. And they are called that because they run supported either on a surface, like a table, or in little bolts like this one. Or this wooden one. I personally prefer the ceramic one because it's deeper and I can get away with less precise spindling angle. And these supported spindles, I like to use them for short fibers. Like this one, this is cotton, and this one will soon be filled with the undercoat from Fiberdoc Hestia. Because her undercoat is fairly short, so I feel more comfortable spinning it supported. Because that way this thread that I'm spinning doesn't need to hold the weight of the spindle as the bowl or the table will hold the weight of the spindle. These are both from the same maker, I believe. I'm not quite certain, but I think so. Uh, from Mr. Locker in Germany. Uh, like most of my spindles actually and he does amazing work and I will link his shop below. Next one is also from Mr. Locker and this is a top well spindle. You can see it has the little hook up on the top and you suspend it like this and spin. And I like to use this one and roll it over my leg so it gets a lot of speed, a lot of twist really quickly and this long shaft definitely helps with that. So that's my favorite spindle for that. I love to spin silk and things like that with it but any fiber really works well with this one. This little yeah, almost clunky piece is actually my very first spindle. It used to have a hook up here, just like my other ones, but it came off after a lot of use and I just decided to use it without the hook instead. And I still use it to this day, even after all those years. I often use it to ply yarn that I spun on spindles and don't want to ply on my spinning wheel because it's quite heavy and you can fit a lot of yarn on it because the whirl is quite big as well. You can see like compared to my hand it fills basically all of my palm and I really like it for that but I did spin even silk on it at some point so you can definitely spin anything you want on a big clunky beginner spindle like this one. Now the next two I bought them at the same event. They are both from Mr. Locker. They have his beautiful little markings there. And I bought these at a wool market in Germany. And when I went there, I knew I wanted to buy a lightweight spindle because I didn't have one at that time. So I went to Mr. Locker's booth and I found this one. You can see the wool is fairly small and it's really, really lightweight. And I wanted that. So I knew this is the one that I want. However, on the same booth, this one just caught my eye over and over again, mainly because of this beautiful, beautiful wood. 
you can see it it's just a piece of art and it kept calling my name but I only wanted to buy a lightweight spindle and I was kind of not short on cash but trying to keep my money together and I couldn't decide which one of these spindles I wanted and the, my friends that I were with at that time were little enablers so Mr. Locker can thank them because they said well you know you want them both and who knows whenever you will get to buy another one from Mr. Locker because I was about to move to the US at that point. So needless to say I got them both and I love them both. I use especially the heavier one quite a bit and I'm glad that I got them both. Now finally this one is a little bit different. It's a full-size Turkish glider from Snyder Spindles and it is my absolute favorite right now. It runs really well and these spindles are actually featured in my beginner's kits and my learn to spin kits if you are interested in it because I think they're really really beginner friendly and the reason I'm saying that is those wings they come right off and first of all it's easy to store but also once you have yarn spun on there you end up with a perfect ball of yarn this ball actually came off this spindle so you have a ball of you have a ball of thread with two ends that you can use to apply with each other so you don't need to wind it off the spindle or have any complicated things going on you can just pull it off and keep plying and that's why i think it's so beginner friendly and i really 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 love this spindle it's like i said it's my favorite right now and the only problem that I have is Fiberdoc Hestia loves this spindle as well. I cannot let it sit anywhere because she will steal it. As soon as I start spinning with it, she will come running from wherever she is. She must have a special ear for that. And she will try to catch this spindle. Uh, she is less interested in, in the other spindles. She's still curious, especially if I spin her own undercoat. But she will let me spin with those. With this spindle, she will not let me spin. I cannot spin this in the same house as Hestia. I basically need to take this spindle on the road with me because it's impossible to spin with Hestia around. So yeah, that's my spindle collection. I also currently have two wheels. They're both considered traveling wheels, but the bigger one of the two, my land drum, is quite big and heavy and even though he does fold and can be put in a bag I prefer to not do that and just leave him at home and my other wheel is a little gem from my aircraft and that is a tiny tiny little wheel well not tiny tiny there are smaller wheels out there but it's a tiny wheel and it runs really really smooth and those two wheels basically do all my shop work I usually spin the singles on my little gem and then ply them on my landrum, mostly because my landrum has a really winder, so I don't need to worry about loading the bobbin evenly. And the spools of the landrum hold a lot more yarn than my little gem ones. So yeah, I usually spin on my little gem, ply on the landrum, and then after finishing and everything, I can send them out to you. You can see some of my yarn behind me. If you would like to know more, let me know in the comments below. If you want to see my spinning wheels or see me working on my wheels or anything, I'm happy to uh, give you insights in how I work. I'm really passionate about spinning. It's, it's my life, really. It has helped me a lot in my life. So if you want to know, ask down below in the comments. If you like this video, click like. If you like me and want to know more, subscribe to my channel. You're really helping me out a lot. And I hope to see you again and enjoy your craft.